hello and bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's October! Well, not yet when this video is coming up, but October is coming and so I have for you today the October No Make No Life box. The theme for this month is Shibuya Night Out. We had the Shibuya Day theme in June, July, a couple months ago. So this obviously is the darker answer to that. I am expecting some Halloween type items. I really hope that they put something. I'm definitely assuming there'll be a pumpkin in there somewhere. I know last year they had kind of like face paints and a couple of darker things. So hopefully they do that here. So without further ado, let us dive in. Alrighty, so here's what the inside looks like, hopefully without falling out. We got lots of goodies, so No Make No Life is a Japanese and Korean beauty box that gets eight to nine items every month. And I do have my little booklet to guide me with the things that I've gotten. So I just kind of haphazardly go in there and take out the first things that I see. This one is at the forefront. So this is the Dodo Hologram Lip Gloss and it comes in three colors, purple, pink, or what I got, which is orange. It's a very white holographic lip gloss topper, possibly kind of situation. Now I'm gonna be honest, although I am curious, I probably am gonna gift this one to somebody else. I just feel like I have similar items, although it is really cute. I just feel bad at this point because I have so much makeup and unless I did 10 to 15 makeup looks a day, which my face would melt off. If I did, there's no way I'd ever use up everything. So I'll have to think about it because honestly, it, it looks oop, it looks really, really, really cute, but I don't know, do I need it? Do I need it? Anyways, Dodo. Next, I'll take the second Dodo product. So oftentimes in these boxes, you'll get two products, two products from the same brand slash collection. So here we have the Dodo Hologram Eyeshadow. Again, it came in three colors, purple, pink, and blue. And I don't know how, but apparently this is blue. The color, oh, the color changes based on both the light and angle. But I just, I'm looking at all the angles and I don't, it's like the slightest hint of baby blue. Listen, okay. <laughs> Again, especially as a single shadow, it's not something I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna gift it. Uh, it's cute, she cute. If I didn't have something similar already, I'd definitely keep it, but I do. Next, I will take out this guy. Oh my God, I'm having flashbacks. So this is the Etude House Under Eye Mask. Etude House is an incredibly famous Korean skincare and makeup brand. I love them. But the reason I'm having flashbacks is this little girl. <laughs> this little girl right here. Years ago, I got, it was in the face shop, a lip, treatment it was like a, a liquid lip treatment and it had this girl she was on it and let me tell you i used that baby up it was the best lip treatment i've ever used in my life and then it disappeared off the shelves i never saw it again if you have the crustiest the nastiest the hardest the roughest lips put on that treatment and your lips will be smoother than a baby's butt like it was amazing it it just dissolves, it disintegrates the dead skin on your lips. Ah, I'm gonna try so hard now to find it again online. Maybe it exists somewhere, but I remember looking for it for a long time, couldn't find it, blah, blah, blah. This is the same kind of collection. So I'm sure these are excellent because the lip stuff was unbelievable. I dream about it to this day. But yeah, just a couple eye patches. Cute, thanks. All right. Okay, few items left. I see two lip products. Let's take out one. Okay, okay. Again, by Etude House. And this is the Dear Darling Water Gel Tint. Now, listen. I love Etude House. I love their Dear Darling Tints. But we literally got a Dear Darling Tint a couple months ago. It was those little popsicle looking ones. Try to put up here. And I'm pretty certain I got like literally this shade in it. And it says this gorgeous Dracula red lip tint is long lasting, blah, blah. I don't doubt it. I have that one. It literally does feel like water and it is a tint so it stays on all day. But I'm a little bummed because this is a full size product and it's in a sense a repeat and especially the color. If it was at least a different color for me, I'd be so excited and happy to keep it and swatch it but like this, I can't really justify keeping it for myself when I have almost the exact same thing. So sadly, as amazing as this product is, 
I'm gonna gift it again to somebody. Should really do a giveaway. I need more followers for a giveaway. But yeah, I'm gonna gift that to someone. But if you don't know, like the, the Etude House lip tints are awesome. They, they really just feel like a, a, the lightest water gel ever on your mouth. And she's still talking. All right. <laughs> Okie dokes. Next, I'll take out the second lip item. Ooh, we're having again a little reminiscing moment from months ago when we got a Choosy Betty Boop product. It was one of those lip gel masks. I don't really like lip gel masks. Anyways, this is the Choosy Lip Treatment and we have two options. So it looks like there's Sweet Orange and what I got, which is Ginger Honey. Ooh, that seems like it'll be super nourishing. Oh, Japan exclusive collab between Japan's only lip specialist brand, Choosy. Well, maybe this is the answer to this lip treatments question. Oh, it feels really like lovely, proper. The packaging is nice. Honey and ginger. I feel like that's gonna cure me and any ailments I have. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, that smells lovely. Oh, I just want to put it on top. Oh, it's very, it's not. Can you taste it? It doesn't really taste, but it smells absolutely lovely. I'm actually really happy with that. I needed something like this, especially with winter coming up. It's gonna, it's gonna get chappy up in here. So happy, happy with that. Yeah. All right, just a few items left. I'm gonna take out. Oh no, there's still four. How many items are there in this box? It's a lot. I'm gonna take out the standard monthly issued face mask, and as I predicted, pumpkin flavor, flavor scent. Something like that, sous vide mask sheet. I've tried skin food as well before. I, I, again, we had it in this box a couple months ago. Really lovely, really great. Happy that it's pumpkin. Moving on. All right, next. I'm so excited about this because I literally almost bought it myself a few days ago. We get nail stickers. So again, there were two options for these. We had Simple Halloween, which was a bit more colorful, bright, pink, yellows, greens. And then we got Halloween Night, which is this one. And it's all ghosts and pumpkin and cobweb. And I'm happy with the one that I got. This is awesome. It's a lovely sized sheet. Does it say how many there are? Yeah, I. it's just gonna be great. I'm gonna spend my time, do my nails, have my little ghosts on my fingertips, and that's gonna be awesome. All right, two more items. I'm gonna be leaving the more fun looking one to last. So we have this here eyeshadow palette. Oh, wait, face palette, it's a face palette. Oh, I was not expecting that. Yeah, it even says here, shading, skin cover, highlight, and face cover. These pans are so small. These pans are so small. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is the shading or contour. Convenient multi palette combines blush, highlighter, and contour in one palette. I mean, I will say this, first of all, I'm looking, it looks like there's four options and I got the lightest one and three and four go fairly deep from what I can see. However, yes, this is shading, which I don't think that's gonna be shading on me. Perhaps a nice, warm, glowy highlight. This one is skin cover, which I think would work for my skin. This one is a brightening or highlight. Again, the matte one, so good for under eyes. It has a banana tone. And then we got these two face colors. Not the keenest on red blushes, but for, again, for Halloween, for Christmas, it could probably work or use it as an eyeshadow. I can use things in different way. And then this one as well as a face color, that one I could see working for me, these kind of mauvey, 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 taupey colors really suit me. And I really like these kinds of tones as well for contouring my face for a more natural sculpted appearance. If I wanna sculpt my nose, I don't go in with like a bronzer shade. I'll usually go in with this because it's a bit more of a, well, skin tone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually quite, uniquely intrigued by this. I wasn't expecting to be. I was immediately like, Ugh, eyeshadow palette, boring, but that's kind of cool. A little bit small for the pan size, but cool. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that, that's awesome. And last but not least, we have some macarons. Wait, okay, I 
thought these were gonna be like lip balms or little compacts, but these are pops. These are these are sponges. We get a little three pack of macaron sponges. Oh what my god, can we take a moment for this packaging? It's a cute, it's a cute package. These are adorable! Oh my gosh. So okay, they're a little bit dense. I think they should be a little bit softer, but we'll see once we water them and how they grow and squish with the water. But this is so cute. Ah. <laughs> this is adorable. We get three, we get this yellow one, we get pink and a hot pink. That's awesome. This is this is my favorite. It's my favorite. My favorite item. Yep. All right, guys, let's dive into my final thoughts. So what do I think about this month's box? Now, I will say very quickly, I don't know if I mentioned it, Shibuya Night Out is the theme for this month, and a couple months ago it was Shibuya Daytime Glam, something like that. I think all the products in this box are excellent. It just happened to be a month where there's a lot of items that I either already have, don't really need or want, won't be using enough to justify my keeping them, if that makes sense. So I will be gifting quite a lot of items in this box. That being said, the products are all great. It was just one that wasn't completely up my alley. Okay, so favorite 100% is the macaron sponges. They're just so cute and unique, and I think most people use beauty blenders, things like that, so it's really cool to have something a little bit different and adorable. The nail stickers as well were a standout because I really wanted to get them anyway, so it's gonna be really great to use those all month, and these are adorable with the little holographic ghosts. And I'm pleasantly surprised by the face palette. I was a little bit like hesitant at first when I saw it, but the more I think about it, the more I think it could be really good. Obviously it'll be depending on the quality of it, but this could replace a lot of items in my everyday makeup bag, which could be a good thing because it's getting heavy. But yeah, that's actually quite unique and I'm very intrigued by that. Any disappointments? I mean, just because we literally had an Etude House water lip tint a couple months ago and I got the exact same color. This is super disappointing, but only for that reason. Otherwise, this brand is excellent. This product is excellent. I'm just super bummed that I have no reason to use it because I already basically have it. And the other items, again, really happy. Standard face mask, eye mask, the Dodo products, probably gonna be gifting because I have something very similar but the choosy, I'm excited. That should probably, I hope, fix my lips, especially with all the ginger and honey. But yeah, all in all, really great box. I'm still looking forward to getting the next month. I think I'll complete a year's worth of subscription, which would be, January would be my month 12, and then kind of reevaluate and see. It's just, it gets hard with every subscription you have at a certain point. You're like, ah, do I need more product? But it's also so, fun and intriguing to get your little packages. I like doing these videos, so I'll have to have a think about that in the future or figure out a better way to gift these items. I'll have to do lots of giveaways in the future. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was fun and entertaining for you. If you haven't already, definitely please subscribe to my channel, still growing. I wanna hit a thousand subs by the end of the year and I'd be very grateful if you helped with that. Click subscribe down below. Don't forget to like this video. And other than that, you can catch me on social media at Slavic Chic. I'm posting a lot more there now, and we have at least two videos every week on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks again. Bye.